We forgot about the questions and answers. Does anybody have any questions for Max about you know, Russia or what, what's going on in Europe? What he talked about? Do they use the uh, the standard bridge there, or they do something? They do something else, I guess. I'm curious. Do they have a path or a chart or something? Ron's That's a very good question. Ron's which board. which standard tech do you use, right? Ray, repeat the question, Ray. So, or somebody repeat the question is: Do we do standard tech? Yes. <laughs> very simple answer. I mean, standard tech is a difficult subject. I know yeah. that, but. Let me put it very simple. El Rage wrote so many books, he has given so many lectures. And depending on where you are on the bridge and what you are doing on the board board, you apply L. Ron Howard. Of course, in a Div 6 course, you do not apply the same kind of standard as you apply in an academy or you apply as a class A. These are different standards. But we put it very simple. If you apply L. Ron Hubbard, then we call it standard tech. I mean, someone is applying book one. Compared with Hubbard uh, standard dynamics or NED, it might be not standard tech. But still, it's valid technology, so let's use it. We, from the Ronsor Committee, and I'm the chairman of that, we have the statutes, and if you have read that, we apply only LRH. I mean, in the academy, we apply only LRH. And if you are in Div 6, then you have more liberties. You can give lectures, you can use books like Ruth Mitchell or from other people, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just get the people to the bridge. We consider that standard. But if you start with student hat, then you have the bulletins, you have the PLs, you have the tapes, and you get a star rate on that, that's it. There's nothing else to it, it's just so. Sometimes we change a little bit the check sheets. But that does not mean we are changing standard technology. Sometimes we think, well, this bulletin belongs to that course too, and we put it there. Or we take off a bulletin because we think, this does not fit to that course. But this is just how you deal with the bridge, how you get people up. So, but to make a long story short, yes, we apply standard technology. Does that answer the question? I think it does. I was, I thought that Bill's Ron's org, I know it's from him, and I totally believe in channeling and so forth. I just was wondering if there was any differences or did it extend the tech that we knew before, you know, before LRH left? Did it extend that further beyond what we're familiar with in the early work? In other words, so, Bill, Bill did this after LRH departed, right? Yes. <laughs> so the question is actually, what about the materials of Captain Bill in comparison to L. Ron Howard? See, we deliver. OT one, two, three. I mean, we don't talk about now the academy or class A or briefing course, whatever. This is just as it is, just L one up. Right now, for example, I'm in a project to digitalize all the old tapes as they have been before Golden Era uh, production has released it in ninety one, which are actually cut. I don't know how much it cut. But when someone was introduced, that was obvious, it was cut out. Or if he made some fuss in talking and it was not very clear, it was cut out. Or some coughing or such kind of things is cut out. But it's omitted, so you don't know what else is omitted. So right now, I'm in a project that we have these tapes. This is what we really want. The original materials of Habeck available. I also started a project about ten, you know, about ten years ago that I said I want of any book, of any 
copy, not tape now, I mean really paper copies. I want a copy, not an OCR version, you know, when you have it in Word or so, then it's easily to change something, some mistakes happen or whatever. I want, I want a real copy that you can see what was originally written. Even if there is a mistake in it, even if it's cancelled, if it is revised, I want of every issue a copy. Even if it's a BPL or a BTB, I don't care, I want a copy. So, all the basics. We are very, very fond and we want that and we need that. And we work with that in the academy only with that. So, all the basic audit training is based on that, nothing else. Now, talking about levels higher than Knots or Excalibur, starting actually with Excalibur. I mean, OT3, we have standard, as LRH has written it down or taped it in the Class A tapes. We have it. We deliver that. We do not want anything else there. Knots, there the discussion starts. Not itself was revised in the church, I don't know how many times I have given up to count it, but it's certainly two, three or even more times it got revised. So, when we were in the Advanced Ability Center Langenthal in Switzerland, which were under the auspice of uh, David Mayo, and David Mayo was more or less writing those original issues of notes, I have no full knowledge how much Hubbard has seen that, how much he has approved it. This is out of my knowledge. It would be good to know that, really. So that got revised. And when we have been in the Advanced Ability Center Langenthal, it started to fail, especially with knots. Even I myself was on knots then, Erika was my auditor, and it didn't lead out. Not in those years. And Captain Bill said, okay, I have to do something about that. I have to handle that. And he was restudying the Knots series very thoroughly several times. And he pointed out some things which were overseen or not applied or not focused in the Knots application. And he stressed those factors. And that became Excalibur. But this is fully based on the knots materials. It is not some invention by Captain Bill. Later, yes, there are OT levels up to 48. This is true. But don't forget, we also deliver the original OT levels as they are. I mean, as good as we have them. Unfortunately, we don't have the original copies or materials of it. We just have what is in this digital or, uh, or red volumes which someone puts together, and sometimes you have some additional copies, but there is not much about it. If anyone has original copies of the original OT4, 5, 6, 7, please, please give me a copy of that. I'm looking for that since, since ever. Does anyone have that? You have those? Sure. Okay, <laughs> then we have up. Sure. Yeah, good. Okay. So, Captain Bill, didn't get that materials he wrote down telepathically. I never heard Captain Bill saying so, nor did he write so. Telepathically, he got the sector operation bulletins, which are political, which are not technical, not at all. There he says, sometimes tele or received telepathically, etc. Now, you can do whatever you want with that. The OT levels, which are actually starting with OT9, we call it also Phoenix, they are, let me start so. When you read in the arrangement material, he is stating that the OT levels are pre OT levels. So, please tell me, where starting the OT levels? What exactly is it? I never hear anything where exactly the OT level starts. I mean, I do not want to go into confidential confidentiality now, but for those who are on the OT levels, 
let me state a little bit provocative. OT3, also nuts, nuts, is some kind of rudiment. It is not, you know, the original OT levels are different. But OT3, this you have to handle, this is you have to get rid of this case that you can survive on planet Earth. This is to handle seventh dynamic. We are here on planet Earth in this really charged subject. Then the next reference. There's a very interesting lecture by L. Ron Hubbard called Level, Level 7 Tape. It's, I don't know if it was on the briefing course, it is, the date is, I think, 23 February 65. Who knows that tape? What's the title here? Level 7. Well, but here, yeah, 23 February 65, I think. 65 is sure, but 23 February, I'm not so sure about that right now. <coughs> but it's a highly interesting tape. Because he says there, what well, is called confidential. He's not talking about things like OT3 stuff or so, but he is asking actually, what is the next case? What, when we have done, I mean, 65, there was nothing about OT3, but he was talking about the higher OT levels, yes. what's coming? And he says, so he was asking himself, what is, what is the OT levels, what, what's the next subject? And he said, it's the physical universe. Yes. It's just here, this is our next case. Yes, the next page. Sorry? The next bake it was. Yeah. You're saying the next bake is the physical universe. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, we have created this messed universe, didn't we? But how to, how to get rid of that? How to handle that? On what OT level? Those who are on the OT levels, please tell me. There is nothing. So, Captain Bill took that up and put that into OT levels. And it's all based on Hubbard. Uh, it's so amazing. First, when I started doing that, I was not so familiar with all those materials. I mean, it was in the 80s. We didn't have all those materials available as we have today. But in the 90s, with the computer and with the internet, we got hooked up with each other and we got a lot of materials and we could see what Captain Dill was putting together, uh, that we have these materials of these OT levels. And believe me, I was, when I left the church, I was class 4 auditor, I was an ED auditor, I was happiness run auditor, I have been Qualsec. So I knew the technology pretty good for those standards in the class 4 organization. And I had to demonstrate for, in my training, I think the axioms about two or three times fully through, genetics as well as Scientology. And I thought, I understand that. And then with the materials on Phoenix, I said, how could I ever say so? I suddenly started to see, hey, that means something else. And that opened me an absolute new universe. It was amazing. It was all written there, but I didn't see it. And many, many other things. I mean, there's a fantastic lecture. I don't remember the date, but I think it's 51 or 52, probably. It's called Phoenix. Do you know that cake? Thinness. 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 It's an amazing lecture where he talks about memory. What is memory? And he comes back to the physical universe. He says, well, this is memory here. And we, we just put some memory particles somewhere and we let it there. We don't get rid of it. So those OT levels coming there, has really to do with exactly those stuff. And up to OT16 is called the self-determined case. Up to Excalibur, it is called the other determined case. So that's what has been done to you. I mean, OT3, knots, or genetics, or all those things, has been happening to you. You have been the victim of it, and you get rid of that. Um, 9 to 16, you get rid of what you have done, what you have created, and put you back to the original state. 
or we call it static state. Super static state, it's also called. And above that level, and that is also misunderstood or not known, there are starting levels bringing, they're called actually admin levels. Because the games master is also called games master to make you being a master in games, putting a game there, as Ron Harbour talks a lot about games and says there are no games masters here, there are little games here, bad games here played, there are not, well, primitive games, whatever, and there we start to go into the level of games. And Scientology certainly is a game we have to put here, there, that we can play it. So, but the first part of the games master or those levels are actually admin levels. That means it is now the OT's responsibility to bring other people up to the OT levels, I mean to up to the grades, to clear to OT levels, because he says, how can you be OT in a mad environment? I mean, you can look, take a look at the the life of L. Ron Hubbard, how they have treated him badly in Rhodesia or later in 65, uh, 75, 60, 76, when Quentin was murdered, when later Mary Sue got in jail, and all those things. I mean, maybe it's provocative, but he was on a heavy pressure there, and how can he be OT in such an environment? Can you imagine what he would have done if there wouldn't have been such evil suppressives around him? <coughs> he would have done a much, much better job, but he got stopped so seriously then, and with the takeover of the church by David Miscavige, which is really, I mean, this is a crime. I don't know how many million lifetimes you need to confront such a over he did. <laughs> Not that serious. I mean, to confront an over is not just giving it off in a confession, confessional and say that's it. So that, that's a serious over. But so the next level of this games master is to bring other people up to the bridge. So it is the responsibility of all of us who are on the OT levels to get other people up. It is not just a first dynamic action and say, well, I've done the OT levels now and now. Let's play something else, and thank you very much, I've paid for it. That's it, you know? No, you have to bring other people up. So that's up to OT, well, I'm not so familiar with the figures there, but it goes then up to the 40, OT 40, which are the source operation levels. And these are levels to train someone, an OT, that he can make source operation missions, that he can do what we are doing, that we are bringing the technology to the people. I mean, we had, I see actually those, I mean, not all who did those levels really succeeded in that, but I certainly can tell you from my case, if the bridge would have ended with knots, I would not stand here today. I would have, there would have been no, no, uh, no door to, to leave the, you know, to get out of it. Um, I would have been trapped somehow. I would have said, Scientology is the very best I ever got, I ever did, fantastic. But what now? How to continue? It was a dead end for me. Even so, I had huge wins. It was major. It was changing my life definitely to an incredible degree, but how to proceed? And this is what I got there. But those materials are based on the materials of L. Ron Hubbard. When you study all those tapes, which he released or has given in the 54 or in 52 uh, Philadelphia Doctorate course or other the creation of human ability tapes and many other things. The amazing tape I need. And this has to be applied. And Captain Bill just helped us in that. That we can apply that and that we can bring other people up to the bridge and up to the and for that I am I'm very thankful to him 
that he did. So, I mean, I'm very, very thankful to Havok. Without him, nothing would have happened at all. So he is an amazing character, and there is no comparison to the being Elron Hubbard. This I want not to invalidate at all by mentioning Captain Bill, but Captain Bill helped us to understand these materials and to get it applied. Okay. Yes. Do you know what Captain Bill's doing now? No, no idea. I also don't know where Hubbard is. <laughs> there are other people I know, I see sometimes in small bodies, and I can imagine they have known Scientology before, before. they have fantastic TR0, they have a fantastic com cycle, the basics are just in, but I have absolutely no idea where those two beings are. <laughs> Any other question? <laughs> Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, obviously there's more to do. You know, I got a call one day from uh, this gal who, uh, I'm not going to mention her name, but she just left FLAG. She uh, tested the OTA at um, FLAG. And she was in Florida and she called me and she says, um, I heard about you, Ray, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just tested the OTA off the ship, whatever, and she says, um, you know, I don't feel too OT, though. <laughs> I said, oh, well, maybe because you didn't do the original OT levels. <laughs> anyway, um, I like the definition that you came up with, uh, that if it's L. Ron Hubbard, it's that, that standard tech. All right, let's uh, have a, what do you want, a, a, an hour break or an hour and a half break? Yeah, an hour break because we got lots of more stuff to do and stuff to give you. Okay? Let's take a break. Break.